Hey everybody, welcome to video 16 on the web development tutorial for beginner series. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to create a click counter. You'll be able to go in, click on the count up button and reset and keep clicking. And that will be the first part until we go into our automatic timer counter. Um, but hope you guys are excited to get going and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've been working in the home page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my games page. So if I go down here, click on games page. I haven't put anything in there, so I'm going to start with an HTML and put that as a title. And remember, that'll put be what's in the tab. And in my body, I can put H1 and just say counter. Let's do a click counter game, click counter game. And so now if I go in and refresh in my games, I have my click counter game and I might want to add my CSS styling so that I can get out of the games tab, but I'm not going to do that right now, but you're welcome to. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and create a div and it'll be a class that equals, um, let's have it be a count button. And so we'll call it count button right there. Okay, and so inside of here, we will have an actual button that is able to be clicked that will say count up. Okay, and if we look at what that looks like in our games class, that's what it will look like there. Okay, so if we go back in and we go into our CSS styling real quick, we can access that just like we've done before. Count button. And so the name of the class right here, just like our grids. Um, and then if we do button, we can access the exact button and then if we wanted to hover over our button so that if we hover over it it will do something um, we can have it have a border black five pixels solid that way if we go in and we access and we link our CSS to our games page will be CSS slash style dot CSS that will automatically have the body be gray and then this will show up when we highlight or hover over our button and so now we need to create our first our next JavaScript file So I do counter.js and actually I'm going to do rename it to our click counter dot js and so now we can open up our click counter and so we'll start our JavaScript so um, before we do that we can have this script and have js slash click counter dot js change this type to src and that way we can check and make sure that this javascript file is accessed when we refresh the page yes it is and so we can get going from there Okay, so um, we're going to use um, we're actually going to use const constant. Um, now there are variables and there are constants, and we've been using variables. And for small projects like this, it really doesn't matter um, too much. But it is a good habit to use the correct uh, form when you need to. So the correct type would be a constant on a. count button 
um, equals document dot query selector and that would be our let's double check our count button dot our dot count button of the button class of the button tag so dot count button right there of the button tag okay and then we will also have um, count number dot query selector and I don't really know what that is going to be yet so on our games page we have our button but do we have um, a value that will be counted so we need to our count num so we don't have a count num yet and let's have that be h1 and we can have it start off being zero okay so now we know that is our count num that's our dot count num and it's of the h1 tag so now we can take our count button dot add event listener on click we are going to do our count up function we don't have that function yet so let's add it in so function count up and we will do count number dot enter HTML plus equals one And so that has literally added in a one every time that we hit, click on the count button, which is just kind of cool. Um, let's see if we did a plus plus. That'll do it for us there. Okay. So now when you click, you are able to count up. And then in order to refresh, have to go back to zero. Um, let's add um, another button here so that we can refresh. So first we'd create a function reset and we could uh, have count num dot enter HTML equal zero. And so we could copy paste have it be reset button copy paste reset button have this be reset button now we just need to make a div class for the reset button reset and we can call this reset so reset needs to do the reset method so count up reset 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 okay um, I go ahead and challenge you to go ahead and do the countdown on your own that'll help practice make, making your own functions and not just copying what I'm doing and creating your own um, buttons as well and it's pretty pretty simple and pretty easy for you to do uh, then we are going to go ahead and next time add a a counter that counts up based off of time okay so I um, hope you guys enjoyed until next time